Blessings to you, beloved. Blessings to you. I am so thankful and praising God for another day. Amen. You know, it is just he who gives us breath in our lungs. And I was just praying and just not even planning on coming on. But God dropped something into my spirit just a few minutes ago. In fact, I was meditating. I was creating that post about the new wine. But this is what he dropped into my spirit. Whatever he says, do it. So I have to come on here and I have to urge you and prophetically speak over your life that whatever he says, do it. Whatever he tells you, just do it. So I had to look into it. I knew where that word was coming from. It's from the Gospel of John, the very first miracle that Jesus performs at the wedding feast at Cana. And they had ran out of wine, amen? And his mother went to him and told him. And he said, well, it's not my time. Uh, but because of our relationship, praise God, I always look at it that way. He said, I will overrule protocol, even time, because you're my mother and because of our close relationship. And I have to let you know, God will override things just because of the relationship of intimacy that you have with him hallelujah thank you lord i don't want to get off track here but what he spoke to me was my people i want them to know whatever he says to you right now just do it so that's why in john chapter 2 verse 5 jesus mother went to the servants with precisely those instructions and she said to them whatever he says just do it so what am i seeing prophetically for you here right now there are things that god is going to do in your life and i have decreed and declared your best your greatest your finest your most powerful days are ahead of you Never mind what the devil is saying. You see, I have to counteract some of the lies that the enemy will tell us when he tries to tell us that your best days were back there. Your best days are behind you. But no, I decree and declare right now over you, beloved, that your best and greatest days are ahead of you. Uh, because why? Because you're walking with God. So how it gets better, okay? How many of you know it just gets better? It just gets better. It just gets sweeter and it gets better day by day. So what I'm saying now is, hear me now. Hear what the Spirit is saying. That's the important thing. Let Holy Spirit just speak through me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Whatever he tells you to do, just do it. It might not seem to make any sense in the natural. And oftentimes it does not when we're walking and being led by the Spirit. Other people might not understand why you're doing it. They might think it's crazy. They might think you're crazy. They might say you're wasting your time. Why are you doing that? You see, that's why she said, whatever he says, just do it. She spoke to the servants. And I'm speaking to the servants of the Most High God. And he said, not only are you a servant, but I call you my friend now because I let you know what I'm doing. Because you are not just servants, you are my friends. And I have to tell you right now, it's very, 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 very important that we do and say what he tells us precisely to do and say 
And I decree and declare that you will be at the right place at the right time with the right people that you are being led by the spirit and you will do what God is calling you to do, what he is asking you to do, what he is requiring you to do. Now, that religious spirit hates what I'm saying right now. In fact, I've had a few religious spirits rising up against, uh, you know, the prophetic. Amen. And that's okay because, as I said, your haters are becoming your students. If you didn't hear that message, please go back and hear it, hear it okay? Um, so people won't understand. They might not celebrate when God asks you to do things that are out of their comfort zone, out of their um, logic, oh, you know, and that religious spirit does not like it when people like me start to tell you that you can hear from God for yourself. Because why? Because they want to keep the control. They want to be the mediators when it says there's no other mediator except for Jesus Christ between God and man. Amen. So what I'm telling you to do right now is pay careful attention and do whatever it is he's saying to do right now. You are getting instructions. You heard God correctly. You heard him right the first time. And the Bible tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. You see, that's what religion wants. A lot of ritual, a lot of religious activity, a lot of, you know, performance and repetitive activity that puts you in a box. But as soon as somebody comes and says, hey, God is speaking, God will tell you, God will lead you, the Holy Spirit will guide you, then that gets them all uptight but i have to tell you okay just like at the wedding feast of cana that was the first miracle that jesus performed as you do whatever he tells you to do the miraculous is going to flow in your life glory be to god thank you lord hallelujah jesus yes I just release that right now. I pray you feel the flow coming because I just see a flow of the new wine coming into your life. I, feel, I, I see a flow. I hear like a rolling flow just flowing over you. The new wine for the new wine skins. The new wine, not the old dead stale wine of inflexible religion. No. The wine, the flow of the wine, the new miraculous wine that comes with new things, with the new power, with the new authority, with the, with the new revelation, with the new prophetic glory, with the miraculous. And as he transformed water into wine, as you do, what he tells you to do right now. I'm to, this is a now word. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is for today. This is for this week. Is it always truth? Yes, it's always truth. But it had to be released tonight, okay? It's night here. I don't know what time it is there, but it had to, because God's clock is, you know, it's an eternal thing. But God is saying, just do it. Just do it. Do whatever he tells you to do, no matter how unusual, no matter how peculiar, no matter how misunderstood, no matter how it doesn't make sense in the natural, no matter whether your, your logical mind, your intellectual mind is fighting against it, God will work it out. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. So that's what I had to come on to say tonight. And I know that the Lord is speaking some profound things. Now pray into this, and you know something, if you aren't hearing from God right now, seek the Lord 
until you do hear from God. Break through. If you got to fast, if you have to pray, of course you have to pray. But I mean, if you have to press in, if you have to take it that extra mile, you know, do it. Just do. And, and I've found this over experience, okay? Let me tell you, because I have not always done precisely as I should have done at the moment I should have done. Sometimes I held back because I was intimidated or just my natural mind was fighting against it. And I thought, well, what if, what are people going to think? What are they, all, all those kinds of things, you know, that we, we can sense, right? Um, as, as we're walking with God, sometimes the natural mind is going to fight the instructions of the Lord. So I'm urging you now. I am prophetically, um, prophetically instructing you that this is the hour now. Whatever he says, just do it. And there's going to be a reward for that kind of obedience. Let me tell you right now, there is a blessing that comes upon you when you just quickly step in. I've learned it. You know, I've learned to just, I don't have to have it all figured out. I don't have to know how it's all going to turn out. It might not look like it's going to turn out, but God will turn it out. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Yes, he's going to turn it out and he is going to turn out a miracle. And let me tell you, he is saving the best, the finest, your greatest let me close with this now, beloved, your greatest days, your finest days, your most powerful days, your most exciting days, your biggest adventures with God, your very best, your finest is coming, is in your future and you are walking into it. Your best days are ahead of you. Just like he saved the best wine for last to the surprise of everyone who thought, you know, that, 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 that they, they would put out, you know, the worst wine after everybody got drunk. Well, let me tell you, God has got a flow that's going to come into your life. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I release it right now. The, the flow of the be drunk in the spirit, my friend. Be drunk with the new wine. Yes. Till you overflow. Until people do not understand you at all. They don't know what you're doing or why. But God is going to back you up when you just do it the way he says to do it. God bless you. I pray that you are blessed by that. I love you and thank you so much for your love and support of the ministry. God bless you and I shall be back soon. Bye bye for now.